Election day is this Tuesday, and WKBN 27 First News is your local election headquarters. For the city of Canfield, this election could bring a lot of change. Nine people are running for city council, while a spot for the city's next mayor is up for grabs. 27 First News reporter Tyler Trill asked the mayoral candidates why people should vote for them. He brings us our election coverage tonight. As Canfield mayoral candidate Richard Duffett's campaign winds down, he wanted to meet with me at the same place it all began, the Canfield War Vet Museum. The Navy veteran announced at the museum in the summer he's running for mayor. He now hopes he gets enough votes on Tuesday. Our campaign slogan is strengthen relationships for a strong tomorrow. And one area Duffett says he'd like to strengthen is on the business side. He wants to bring more into the city. So I think it's going to be pretty easy to attract businesses to come here. Just over your shoulder there uh, near the post office, we have a vacant building there. I'd love to be able to attract some businesses there. Another place of interest is a section of land on Route 224 and Palmyra Road. Canfield Township is in the process of annexing it to the city. I believe in the people of Canfield and I believe that they're going to make the right choice. It's a piece of land that Duffett's opponent in the race for mayor, Don Dragas, sees potential in as well. With doing that, you know, economic development comes along and different things like that to kind of build some business so that we're not constantly hitting the pocket of the, of the person in this community and keep having them pay more and higher and higher taxes. Dragas is currently Canfield City Council's president. He says Canfield schools and safety services are already great, but he liked to polish some things up around the city. In Canfield, Tyler Trill, WKBN 27 First News.